Hi, it's another fantastic morning in Cota de Casa, Orange County, California. I'm on the third hole of our South Golf Course. And today we're going to be looking at our American Coots. So the scientific name of our American Coot is Fulica Americana. A group of Coots is called a commotion. And they typically live about six to seven years. But the oldest one on record got to be 22 years and four months old. These birds are simply described as a plump, dark gray to black water bird with scrawny yellow-green legs, a rounded head, and a sloping bill. The adults are dark gray in color. They have a white bill. At the end of the bill is a little black ring. And sometimes you can see a reddish spot between their eyes. So although the females and the males, they look alike, they actually have different sounds. And the males have sort of a hook sound, like a pook. Well, the female has more of a pook, like a pook. They make other sounds as well. You can hear them now. So on land, they walk and appear very chicken-like. So people also call them mud hens, or sometimes marsh hens. Now, although this guy looks like a duck, it's not a duck. It's actually a rail from the family Rallidae. They're cousins to the clapper rail and the sore rail. And they're more related to cranes than they are to ducks. Now all ducks have webbed feet, but instead our coot here has long toes with broad lobes of skin that help uh, kick it through the water. On land, the lobes fold back each time the coot lifts a foot. In this way he doesn't trip on it, but at the same time it helps support him when he's walking through the mucky ground. So you mostly find these coots eating grass or vegetation along the edges of lakes, ponds, or marshes like we have here in Cota de Casa, on other golf courses, and perhaps in your local city park. But since they aren't very fast, they don't like to wander too far from the water's edge, or they're sitting ducks, so to speak, to hawks and eagles. Although they mostly eat vegetation, they'll also eat arthropods, fish, aquatic insects, mollusks, and other aquatic animals. Now these birds are very aggressive and noisy, making all sorts of noises or calls and they will fight to protect their territories by rearing up and attacking each other with their powerful feet. And what we have here in Kodo is a mix between permanent residents and migrating flocks or commotions. So usually there's a lot of fighting going on. So our American coot is very dispersed throughout the United States. They spend their summers up in Canada and they fly south as far as Panama. And in between, there's a lot of non-migrating and non-breeding permanent residents throughout California, the southern states, and Florida. So these guys, they're not very good at taking off. They have to flap their wings furiously to cross the water to get airborne. But once up in the air, they are pretty good flyers. And that's one reason they fly at night, because if they took off during the day, our hawks would pick them off. So for breeding, our American coots are monogamous their entire lives. They mate between May and June. They usually have a very long courtship with lots of bill rubbing, bowing, and nibbling. They actually build three types of nests. One's for displaying, another for eggs, and a third for their broods. The female will lay eight eggs in the egg nest. Then after they hatch, the coot pair will upgrade the existing nest or they might move their babies to a new nest. And sometimes they will even lay their eggs in other coots' nests. So finally, the coot chicks are, they're pretty ugly, but their exaggerated ornamental traits or plumes help the parents identify them from each other and other families. All right, so I think that is about all you need to know about our American coots. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Have a great day.